Are you part of the 70% of the workforce that desires to be self-employed but isn't? If you are, keep watching this video. Welcome to another episode of Self-Employed Success Secrets, Monday edition with me, your host, Marcus. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about why you should consider self-employment and the truth about self-employment. Now, if you're watching my videos for any length of time, you're probably used to seeing my face. You're probably used to me sharing a quote, but today's gonna be a little bit different. Today's gonna be about you and helping you to win and to get to where you wanna go in life. Okay, like most people, if you're part of that 70% that I just talked about who are self-employed, if you're like most people, you probably have a desire to create wealth and financial abundance for you and your family. This is a very honorable desire that I would, I would say most people share. But let's look at the reality. Most of us come from families that are poor, financially struggling at best. Now, now why is this? Okay, there's a lot of reasons why I think a lot of families finance, struggle financially, but I think one major reason is that they work for a, a giant corporation. Think of the big company in your area, the big factory in your area, or the big retail chain in your area that employs a lot of people, okay? Every city, town, many cities, townships, and whatever have these type of institutions that employ most of the people, okay? But you gotta understand when you work at a company that, first of all, wages are stagnant, raises are mediocre and don't come very often, so this is one big reason why a lot of families struggle, okay? Basically, I think working for a corporation is a scam and that you should avoid it if you can, but this video is not about bashing corporations, it's about empowering you to be the best you can be and starting your business if that is what you want, okay? But I know what it's like to grow up in a poor family. I can remember being probably 14, 15, 16 years old and being at the grocery store with my mom and she's pulling out her food stamps and she's crying in the store. I see tears coming down her face and she's saying, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to live like this. I wonder how many stories across the country, just for the U.S., that people can identify with this thing. This is the power of being self-employed. You can free yourself from this from this mess. I'm not saying self-employment is easy, but I'm saying that it's worth it. And I want you to really listen. If this is if this video is resonating with you, please continue to listen. Okay, this is to help you and help your family. Okay, now let's go on to the secret for today's video. Okay. The secret for today's video is that when you're self-employed, you're swimming in the ocean. When you work for a company, a nonprofit, an institution, you're swimming in a swimming pool, okay? Now think about a swimming pool versus the ocean. The ocean is very scary. It's very uncomfortable. There are sharks. I'm gonna tell you, there are bad things that can happen when you're self-employed. Some things that have happened to me, I lost all my clients on one day. If you've, if you've watched, been watching my videos for any length of time, you know this story, okay? I've worked for people for long periods. Of, I've done work and not gotten paid for months, okay? I've been fired on the spot for doing nothing, okay? For making a tiny mistake. I made two mistakes one time, this lady just ousted me. Okay, and I learned my lesson. You gotta be as dog on there close to perfect as you can. It is hard, you're swimming in the ocean. But I also say on the flip side, you have, you have all the freedom in the world. Think about swimming in the ocean. You have all the freedom to go swim as far out as you want to if you believe in yourself. Okay, but think about working at a job. You, you're in a swimming pool. Yeah, it's fun and it's comfortable for a while, but after a few years, you're like, I'm kind of sick of this swimming pool because humans are made to always want and desire more. Okay, I know if you're listening to this up to this point, you desire more for your life, more money, more happiness, more freedom. I can't tell you that the, the gratification that comes from when you get paid and you're like, I literally went from an idea to money in my bank account. It's amazing. And I would love for more people to feel this way, but back to what I'm saying, working for working at a huge institution oftentimes can be a trap, okay? And the first step in avoiding a trap is to be aware of its existence, okay? I want you to be aware that if you desire wealth and financial abundance for your family, you can't go the corporate route. You just can't. You look at most people, they desire this, but they'd rather have the stability than the uncomfortability of swimming in the ocean. Do you want the stability of the swimming pool or the uncomfortability? and the possible massive reward that comes from swimming in the ocean. Okay, I decided to swim in the ocean. And this is a choice that, you know, we're all gonna end up having to make, okay? Because, because before we start winning, we have to stop losing. Okay, I wanna say that again. Before we start winning, we have to stop losing. 
okay? A year from now, if you got serious about it, for those of you who truly want to be self-employed, you could be completely 100% free from your corporate job and on your way to getting the life that you want. I've been out here for four years now, four plus years. I'm gonna tell you it's difficult, but it's worth it. It's worth it when someone someone lights up because you did something for them and they're like, wow, I never, I just never didn't expect this. It's amazing when you can wake up and you're like, you know what? I can go to the grocery store in the middle of the day and not miss a beat. I don't have to be at a certain place and leave at a certain time. If you desire this, keep listening to this. These type of videos you'll find on my channel, okay? And last, I wanna leave you with a cool thought. If you have two hands, two eyes, and two feet, you can make something of your life, okay? Now, some people, self-employment is not for everybody, but for those that it is for, I want you to listen to this video. It can change your life, okay? Someone told me a long time ago that made me become self-employed that, hey, there's such an abundance for you if you're willing to just state your claim, waiting for you. I'm not just talking about money, an abundance of joy, an abundance of giving, an abundance of just helping people. I do what I do to help people. It's not to make money, okay? A lot of people lose because they focus on making money, focus on making meaning and helping people. Thank you so much. And lastly, as always, unsuccessful people, they make decisions based on their current situation. Oh man, this corporate job is nice and cushy. I'm never gonna be uncomfortable again. But successful people, you hopefully, if you wanna be, you can make decisions based on where they wanna be, okay? You know what? I'm gonna trade a few years of discomfort for a lifetime of freedom, okay? You can do it too, not just me, okay? I'm doing this, I'm trying to sh live by example and show you that it's not as hard as you think it is, okay? Thank you so much, bye. And have a wonderful Monday and I hope this video left you motivated, okay?